Did you know that your date of birth is not just a random number? It carries deep secrets about your karma and the spiritual lessons you need to learn in this life. Every number associated with your birth date holds a unique vibration, offering insights into the purpose of your soul's journey and the karmic debts or rewards you're meant to experience. In this video, we will reveal what Buddhist teachings say about how the date you were born can determine the challenges, blessings, and mission you are destined to fulfill. These ancient teachings provide profound guidance on how to navigate life's ups and downs, helping you uncover the hidden forces at play behind your relationships, career, and personal growth. Get ready to be surprised because what you are about to discover could change everything you think about your destiny. Imagine finally understanding why certain patterns keep repeating in your life or why you attract certain types of people and situations, whether they bring joy or hardship. This revelation could give you the clarity to break free from toxic cycles, embrace your true potential, and step into a more fulfilling future. What if your life's obstacles were not random misfortunes, but purposeful challenges meant to shape your character and spiritual growth? By tapping into the wisdom of your birth date, you may unlock the keys to greater harmony, purpose, and inner peace. You'll learn how these karmic influences have been quietly guiding your choices, affecting your emotional responses, and shaping the overall direction of your life. Discover how to harness the power of this knowledge to make conscious decisions that align with your higher self, creating a path that is more in tune with your soul's true purpose. Are you ready to unlock the mysteries of your karmic blueprint and gain a new understanding of your life's meaning? Dive in with us and embark on a journey of self-discovery that could transform not only how you see yourself, but also how you interact with the world around you. Want to know how to break these negative karmic cycles and attract more peace, prosperity, and love into your journey? Then you need to hear what we have to share with you today. Imagine being able to finally let go of the baggage that's been holding you back, whether it's repeating patterns, unfulfilling relationships, or financial struggles, and instead step into a life where abundance, harmony, and fulfillment flow naturally to you. What if I told you that the secret to changing your future is hidden in the numbers of your past? Yes, the very numbers that make up your birth date hold ancient wisdom about your soul's path, and once you decode them, you will begin to understand the deeper purpose behind every challenge and blessing that has come your way. With every second that passes, more and more people are discovering how the numbers of their birth dates hold the key to spiritual balance and deep awakening. These revelations are helping countless individuals make sense of their life's journey, empowering them to release negative karmic cycles and embrace new opportunities for love, success, and personal growth. Whether you're seeking more meaningful connections, financial abundance, or simply inner peace, understanding the karmic lessons hidden in your birth date can be the transformative tool you've been searching for. Don't miss out on this revelation. If you're ready to uncover the mysteries that have been guiding your life and learn how to harness their power to manifest your highest potential, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any transformative content like this. Your journey towards spiritual enlightenment and a more fulfilling life starts here. Don't let it pass you by. Here's a challenge. Comment below, I attract positive things into my life, to start changing your vibration right now. The concept of karma is often misunderstood. Many people think it is simply a cause and effect law, a kind of automatic punishment or reward for a person's actions. However, Buddhist teachings show us that karma is much deeper. It is an accumulation of energies shaped not only by physical actions, but also by the intentions, thoughts, and emotions we carry throughout our lives. From the moment of birth, each person already brings with them a karmic field, a set of tendencies and lessons that need to be understood and worked on. And why is this so important? Because understanding your karma can be the key to unlocking a more harmonious and fulfilling life path. When we understand the karmic influences we bring with us at birth, we can make more conscious decisions aligned with our spiritual purpose. Imagine if you could identify the negative patterns that keep repeating in your life, and instead of just reacting to them, you could transform them into opportunities for personal growth and evolution. Buddhist masters teach that karma is not a sentence. In fact, 
It is an invitation to transformation. It is not about punishment from past lives, but an opportunity to refine the soul and evolve spiritually. By recognizing these karmic patterns, you can start adjusting your actions and thoughts so that your present and future align with the best version of yourself. So stay tuned and ask yourself, what might your karma be trying to teach you? In this video, we will guide you on a path of deep self-knowledge so you can identify and work on these energies in your life using the transformative power of Buddhist teachings. This is a moment to open your mind and connect with the ancient wisdom that can finally bring the answers you seek. To understand what your karma says about you, we need to calculate your karmic number. This number is like a guide that reveals the challenges and lessons you must face in this life. And the good news is that calculating this number is very simple. You just need to use your date of birth. Let's do it together now clearly, so no one is left with doubts. First, you will need your complete date of birth. The day, month, and year. Let's use an example to make everything easier. Suppose someone was born on July 15, 1990. The first step is to look at the number of the day. Here, in our example, the day is 15. To simplify this number, we need to add the two digits together, so we add 1 plus 5, which gives us 6. If you were born on a single digit day, like 7 for example, you already have a number and don't need to add anything. However, whenever it is a two digit number, like 23, 11, or 18, you will need to add the two digits to get a single digit. Now, let's move on to the month. July is the seventh month of the year, so the number for the month is 7. Here, the number is already a single digit, so we don't need to do anything else. However, if your birth month is October, November, or December, which are 10, 11, and 12 respectively, you need to add the digits. For example, in the case of October, 10 becomes 1 plus 0, which equals 1. For November, 11 becomes 1 plus 1, which equals 2, and so on. After understanding the day and month, let's move on to the birth year. In our example, the year is 1990. Here, you need to add all four digits together. First, we add 1 plus 9, which gives us 10. Then we add 10 to the next 9, resulting in 19. Finally, we add 19 to the last zero, which remains 19. Since 19 is still a two-digit number, we need to simplify it once again by adding 1 plus 9, which gives us 10. Since 10 is also not a single-digit number, we add 1 plus 0, resulting in 1. So, the number for the year is 1. Now that we have the simplified numbers for the day, month, and year, the next step is to add these three results. In our example, we got 6 for the day, 7 for the month, and 1 for the year. We add these three numbers. 6 plus 7 is equal to 13, and then 13 plus 1 is equal to 14. We're almost there. Since 14 is still a two-digit number, we need to simplify it one more time. We add 1 plus 4, which gives us 5. This is the karmic number we are looking for. The final result, which in this case is 5, is your karmic number. Each number from 1 to 9 has its own meaning, representing different life lessons and challenges. Knowing your karmic number is like discovering a personal spiritual guide. It can help you better understand the repetitive patterns that occur in your life, the types of challenges that arise, and even the gifts you have and should develop. The important thing to remember is that this number is not just a mathematical value, but a key that opens doors to a deeper understanding of who you are and how you can evolve spiritually. So now that you know how to calculate it, go ahead and see what your karmic number has to say about you. To calculate your karmic number, let's understand what it really means. Each number from 1 to 9 carries a unique set of characteristics, challenges, and spiritual lessons that help explain your life journey. Let's explore each one so you can discover what your karmic number says about you. If your karmic number is 1, your life journey is strongly connected to discovering your own identity and stepping into the role of a leader. Those with the number one often possess pioneering energy and are called to be visionaries, trailblazers, and innovators, using their boldness to break new ground. You have a natural drive to stand out, trusting your own judgment and leading with confidence. 
Your determination and courage make you highly capable of initiating change and inspiring others to follow your example. The path for those with this number involves learning to take charge of situations, whether in personal life, relationships, or career. You are someone who naturally steps into leadership roles, and you thrive in situations that allow you to express your individuality and take control of the outcome. However, this strong leadership quality brings with it key challenges and responsibilities. While the desire for independence and self-reliance is a core aspect of your personality, it's important to recognize that true leadership doesn't always mean going it alone. One of the karmic lessons for the number one is to balance the need for autonomy with the ability to collaborate and respect the contributions of others. Overcoming tendencies toward dominance, impatience, or the need to be right all the time is crucial for your personal and spiritual growth. You may be tempted to push your agenda or take the reins without considering other perspectives, but true success comes when you learn to inspire and empower those around you rather than control them. Moreover, those with the karmic number one must also navigate the challenge of self-doubt. While you may often appear confident and self-assured, beneath the surface there may be an inner struggle to fully trust in your capabilities, especially in the face of setbacks. The key to mastering this karmic path lies in cultivating self-belief without falling into arrogance. Recognizing that failures are stepping stones to growth and not a threat to your identity is vital for your evolution. Your journey is not just about leading others, but also about leading yourself. Learning to assert your personal will while maintaining humility. Embrace your inner power. But remember that true leaders lift others as they rise. By aligning your personal drive with a sense of purpose and responsibility, you can become a force of positive change leaving a lasting impact on the world around you. The fundamental lesson for number one is self-confidence. There may be times when you feel like you are swimming against the tide or that you need to stand out to feel valued. This can bring a sense of isolation or the feeling that you have to fight harder than others to achieve your goals. True transformation happens when you understand that leadership is not just about being first or the best, but about inspiring others to find the best within themselves as well. One of the most common challenges for those with a karmic number of one is the risk of falling into selfishness and pride. Often, the need to be independent and follow your own path can cause you to disconnect from the people around you, creating a barrier that prevents true collaboration. To overcome this, it is essential to develop the ability to listen to others and recognize the value of cooperation. The lesson here is that no one reaches the top alone. The number one also calls for a balance between action and patience. Impatience and the desire for quick results can lead to impulsive decisions or giving up too soon. Learning to be patient and trust the process is crucial for those who carry this energy. The secret to transforming your life is understanding that a true leader's strength lies in the ability to be resilient and have the courage to reinvent themselves when never necessary. Finally, the karmic number one also teaches the importance of listening to your intuition and embracing your creative potential. Since you are naturally inclined to carve your own path, it is essential to trust your inner guidance and not rely too heavily on external validation. When you learn to combine your pioneering spirit with compassion and cooperation, you unlock your highest potential, becoming a leader who not only achieves personal success, but also creates a harmonious and uplifting environment for others to thrive in. If your karmic number is two, your life revolves around partnerships, cooperation, and harmony. People with the number two tend to be highly sensitive and intuitive, often possessing a deep emotional intelligence that allows them to perceive what others are feeling even without words. This sensitivity is a profound gift, enabling you to connect with others on a meaningful level, fostering trust, and building strong relationships. You have the ability to sense the unspoken emotions and needs of those around you, making you a compassionate friend, partner, or colleague. However, this heightened sensitivity can also present challenges. You may absorb the emotional energy of others, which can lead to feeling overwhelmed or drained. It is important for you to develop emotional boundaries, learning when to step back and protect your own energy without feeling guilty. As someone whose purpose involves creating balance, 
It is easy to become overly focused on keeping others happy or avoiding conflict, which may cause you to suppress your own needs and desires. Your karmic path calls you to embrace the role of the mediator, someone who naturally fosters peace, resolves conflicts, and helps others find common ground. You are adept at seeing both sides of a situation, which allows you to bring people together, fostering cooperation and mutual understanding. Whether it's within your family, workplace, or social circle, you are the one people often turn to when they need a calming presence or a diplomatic solution to a disagreement. While your ability to maintain harmony is a powerful strength, it can also create inner conflict. You may struggle with people-pleasing tendencies, constantly trying to maintain peace at the expense of your own emotional well-being. The key karmic lesson for number two is learning to balance your own needs with the needs of others. While you are naturally inclined to help and support, you must also recognize when it's time to stand up for yourself and assert your boundaries. This is not selfishness. It's self-care, which allows you to continue being the compassionate and supportive person you are meant to be without burning out. Another important aspect of your journey is learning the value of patience and trust. As a number two, you may often find yourself in situations where you need to rely on others or wait for things to unfold naturally. The lesson here is to trust the process, understanding that harmony and balance take time to achieve. Rushing into decisions or trying to control the outcome can create more discord, so learning to let go and allow things to develop in their own time is crucial for your spiritual growth. In relationships, you seek deep emotional connections and thrive in environments where there is mutual respect and cooperation. However, you may encounter challenges related to insecurity or fear of rejection. It's important for you to develop a strong sense of self-worth, recognizing that your value is not dependent on external validation or the approval of others. By embracing your own inner strength and trusting your intuition, you can find peace within yourself, which will radiate outward attracting balance and harmonious relationships. Ultimately, your karmic journey as a number two involves mastering the art of cooperation, not just with others, but with yourself. You are called to cultivate inner peace, balance, and self-compassion so that you can continue to serve as a source of harmony in the world around you. When you learn to navigate the delicate dance between giving and receiving, between maintaining peace and standing up for your truth, you unlock your highest potential as a healer, mediator, and peacemaker. Your life purpose is to bring more love, understanding, and unity into the world, one relationship at a time. The life lesson for number two is to learn to find strength in vulnerability. As someone who seeks harmony, you may find yourself avoiding conflicts or suppressing your own needs to keep the peace. However, True harmony can only be achieved when you learn to be honest about how you feel and to value your own needs as much as you value those of others. The challenge is learning to communicate assertively without losing sensitivity. People with the number two often face the fear of rejection or not being loved enough. This insecurity can lead them to seek external validation or become overly dependent on others. To overcome this, it is essential to develop a sense of self-worth that does not depend on the approval of others. This is where true transformation occurs. When you realize that inner strength comes from knowing yourself deeply and understanding that, regardless of circumstances, you are enough. Additionally, the number two teaches the importance of emotional balance. You have the ability to create harmony around you, but you need to learn to protect your own energy Practices like meditation, moments of solitude, and cultivating relationships that nourish your soul are essential. The true power of number two is the ability to love unconditionally, starting with yourself. If your karmic number is three, your life is guided by creative expression and communication. The number three is known for its vibrant and joyful energy, and those who have it are naturally talented at expressing thoughts and emotions creatively. You may excel in the arts, writing, music, or any area that allows you to share your vision with the world. However, with all this creative potential, there also comes a need for discipline and focus. The great challenge for those with the number three is learning to balance inspiration with practical action. Often, ideas can come in an overwhelming rush. 
but without the ability to follow through with consistency, they may end up never leaving the paper. You may find yourself starting many projects simultaneously and not finishing any. The lesson here is to develop the self-discipline to see your ideas through to the end, even when the initial enthusiasm wanes. The number three is also related to communication and the development of healthy relationships. Your ability to connect with others is one of your greatest gifts, but it can also be a weakness if you don't know how to manage your energy. It is important to learn to listen as much as you speak and to choose words that uplift and inspire rather than hurt. Transformation occurs when you realize that true communication is a two-way street. Additionally, the number three teaches the importance of joy and lightness. Life doesn't have to be taken so seriously all the time, and that's where your gift of bringing light and laughter to the environment can be a blessing. However, it's essential not to use humor and fun as a way to avoid facing deeper issues. Finding a balance between fun and responsibility is the key to a full and meaningful life. If your karmic number is four, your life is strongly anchored in the pursuit of stability, order, and security. The number four is the builder of the zodiac. Those who possess it are driven to create solid foundations in all areas of life, whether in work, relationships, or family life. You have a practical and organized energy that drives you to seek fulfillment through effort and persistence. However, with all this structure comes the risk of falling into patterns of rigidity and stubbornness. The life lesson for number four is to learn to balance security with flexibility. It can be very easy for you to get attached to one way of doing things and resist change. However, life is made of cycles, and part of your journey is learning to adapt to new circumstances without losing focus on what is important. The challenge here is to be able to plan and be organized, but also to be open to the unexpected. People with the number four often face the pressure of feeling like they always have to be in control. This can create constant tension and a sense of burden, as if the responsibility for everything is on your shoulders. Learning to delegate, trust others, and let go of control a little can be liberating. True transformation occurs when you realize that strength comes not only from stability, but also from the ability to be resilient in the face of adversity. The number four also teaches the importance of balancing work and leisure. Your focus on building a secure life can lead to overworking or perfectionism. It's crucial to remember that life is not just about what you can achieve or build, but also about how you feel along the way. Finding time to relax, have fun, and nurture your passions is essential for a balanced and fulfilling life. If your karmic number is five, your life is guided by the quest for freedom, change, and adventure. People with the number five have a naturally restless and exploratory energy. They are drawn to new experiences, travel, and anything that challenges the status quo. Your mission is to learn to move through the world with flexibility and openness, embracing uncertainty and using it as a growth tool. However, this relentless search for novelty can bring the challenge of finding the balance between freedom and responsibility. One of the great lessons for those with the number five is understanding that true freedom is not just the ability to come and go, but the ability to adapt to any situation with grace and intelligence. There may be times when you feel that staying in one place or situation for too long is like being trapped. The secret to your evolution is realizing that sometimes stability can provide the necessary foundations for an even greater adventure in the future. The challenge for number five is to avoid impulsive behavior and a lack of commitment. The constant need for change can lead to superficiality in both projects and relationships. It's easy to get bored and move on to something new without finishing what you started. Learning to focus and see things through is crucial to balancing this energy of movement. Real transformation happens when you manage to maintain the excitement of an adventurous spirit while cultivating roots that support you. Furthermore, the number five teaches the importance of enjoying the present rather than always seeking the next big event or experience. Sometimes the greatest adventure lies in looking within yourself, discovering who you really are and how you can use that freedom consciously. Finding meaning in small things, in moments of silence, and in genuine connections can be the greatest revelation of all. If your karmic number is six, 
Your life journey is centered around finding a balance between responsibility, love, and service to others. The number six is the number of nurturing care and harmony. Those who have this number are naturally inclined to help protect and care for others. The energy of six revolves around creating a safe and loving environment, whether in the family, the community, or any other group you are part of. However, this desire to care can sometimes lead to the challenge of forgetting about yourself. The most important lesson for number six is learning to find a balance between giving and receiving. There may be a tendency to take on more responsibilities than you should, to the point of neglecting your own needs. You may find yourself trying to solve everyone's problems around you and, in the process, overwhelming yourself emotionally. The challenge here is to recognize that to take care of others well, you need to be well with yourself first. True harmony comes from learning to say no when necessary and setting healthy boundaries. Another important point for number six is a tendency towards perfectionism in your relationships. You may expect too much from people or from yourself, creating impossible standards to meet. This can lead to frustration and disappointment. The lesson is to accept that both you and others are human and that imperfections are part of the journey. Learning to love unconditionally and accept flaws as opportunities for growth is key to transformation. Additionally, the number six teaches about the importance of cultivating self-love. The desire to help and support can make you forget to nurture yourself emotionally. Practices like self-care, meditation, and seeking hobbies that bring joy are essential for balancing this number's energy. The true power of number six lies in the ability to genuinely love, starting with yourself, and then extending that love to the world around you. If your karmic number is seven, your life is deeply connected to the quest for knowledge, wisdom, and spiritual understanding. The number seven is known as the number of the mystic and the scholar. People with this number are naturally introspective, questioning, and constantly seeking the deeper meaning of life. Your mission is to uncover the mysteries of existence, whether through study, meditation, or spiritual exploration. However, this quest for depth can bring challenges of isolation and disconnection from the world around you. The main lesson for number seven is learning to balance the search for knowledge with the practical experience of life. There may be a tendency to get too caught up in the world of ideas and concepts, neglecting the importance of living in the present moment. Sometimes, you may feel disconnected from people because you are always searching for something deeper. The challenge here is to use what you learn to enrich your interactions and experiences in the real world. The number seven also carries the challenge of trust. In your search for hidden truths, you may become overly skeptical or reserved, not letting people get close. Learning to open your heart and trust others, even without all the answers, is an important step in your spiritual journey. True transformation occurs when you realize that wisdom is not only in the words of the wise, but also in the simple experiences of everyday life. Furthermore, number seven teaches the importance of balance between mind and spirit. It's easy to get lost in books, studies, or spiritual practices, but true growth comes when you learn to integrate that knowledge with your daily life. Meditation, contemplation, and moments of solitude are important, but equally important is actively participating in life and sharing your wisdom with others. The challenge is finding the middle path between heaven and earth, between knowing and being. If your karmic number is eight, your life is marked by the pursuit of power, success, and material achievement. Number eight is the number of ambition, leadership, and the ability to manifest big dreams in the material world. People with this number are called to build, lead, and achieve. You have the potential to be extremely successful in business, finance, and any area that requires determination and strategic vision. However, with all this potential come great responsibilities and challenges. The life lesson for number eight is learning to use power with wisdom and integrity. The desire to achieve success can sometimes lead to an overly results-focused approach, forgetting the value of the means to achieve them. There is a real danger of becoming obsessed with status, money, or power, which can distance you from the things that really matter. The challenge here is finding a balance between material success and spiritual growth. Another common challenge for those with the number eight is learning to deal with loss. 
Life can bring highs and lows, especially for those in positions of leadership or responsibility. True transformation occurs when you learn to see challenges as opportunities for growth and development rather than failures. Resilience is an essential lesson. True success is not measured only by what you achieve, but by what you learn along the way. Moreover, number eight teaches the importance of generosity and gratitude as you achieve success. It is important to remember to give back to the world. This can be through acts of charity, helping others grow, or using your influence to do good. The true power of number eight is the ability to transform the world around you, not just for yourself, but for everyone. If your karmic number is nine, your life is marked by compassion, altruism, and the desire to make a difference in the world. Number nine is the number of the humanitarian, the idealist, and the one who sees the world through a prism of love and empathy. People with this number feel a natural calling to serve others and fight for causes they believe in. Your mission is to be a force of healing, inspiration, and transformation in the world. However, this giving energy also comes with its own challenges. The great lesson for number nine is learning to balance the desire to help with the need to protect yourself emotionally. Often, you may feel overwhelmed by the problems of the world or others, feeling it is your responsibility to solve everything. The challenge here is to understand that you cannot save everyone and that you need to take care of yourself to continue helping sustainably. Transformation happens when you learn to say no and recognize your own limits. Another important point is the tendency toward excessive idealism. Number nine has a powerful vision of how the world could be, but this vision can sometimes clash with practical reality. The challenge is to accept that the world is imperfect and that true change happens step by step, not all at once. Learning to find beauty in small victories and to value every bit of progress is essential. Moreover, Number nine teaches about the power of forgiveness and acceptance. For those with this number, there may be a strong attachment to the past or an ideal of how things should have been. Learning to forgive yourself and others and let go is essential. The true power of number nine is being a beacon of light and love, accepting both the shadows and the light of life. Once you understand your karmic number and the specific challenges it brings, the next step is learning how to transform negative karma into something positive. The good news is that karma is not a fixed or unchangeable destiny. It can be worked on, adjusted, and balanced with conscious practices and continuous effort. The first step on this journey is recognizing that all negative karma is actually an opportunity for spiritual growth. It is like a teacher who challenges you to be better, develop a new skill, or face a deep fear. One of the most powerful ways to transform negative karma is through meditation and self-reflection. Meditative practices allow you to access deep parts of your subconscious where many karmic patterns are stored. Through regular meditation, you can start to observe your thoughts and emotions from a higher perspective without being carried away by automatic reactions. Guided meditations that focus on karmic cleansing forgiveness, and the release of negative emotions can be especially effective. The key here is consistency. Dedicating just a few minutes a day to meditate can, over time, bring about significant transformation. Another important practice is self-knowledge through self-analysis. Keeping a journal where you reflect on your daily actions, feelings, and reactions can help identify patterns that repeat negative karmic behaviors. Ask yourself, why did I react this way? Or what is the situation trying to teach me? This type of questioning leads to awareness, and awareness is the first step to change. Over time, you will begin to notice that many of the challenging situations you face are actually reflections of lessons that have yet to be learned. Forgiveness, both of yourself and of others, is another crucial component in balancing karma. Often, we carry heavy emotional burdens that keep us tied to negative karmic cycles. By forgiving, you release these ties and create space for new energies to flow into your life. Forgiveness does not mean forgetting or accepting harmful behavior, but rather freeing yourself from the weight of anger, resentment, and pain. A powerful practice for this is the Hoponopono technique, a Hawaiian practice of reconciliation and forgiveness where you repeat the phrases, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. 
This simple yet profound practice can help cleanse negative karmic memories. Additionally, conscious and compassionate actions in everyday life can have a profound impact on transforming karma. When you act with compassion, empathy, and kindness, you create positive energy around you that can balance and neutralize past karma. Small actions like helping someone without expecting anything in return, offering a sincere smile to a stranger, or simply being kind to yourself in difficult moments create a ripple effect of positive waves that reverberate through your energetic field. By choosing to act consciously, you take control of your karma, transforming it into a force of light and growth. The important thing is to understand that karma is shaped by the choices you make every day. By practicing these techniques and incorporating these mindset changes into your life, you will not only be balancing your karma, but also creating a path of greater harmony, purpose, and joy. This is the journey of transformation and self-discovery that spiritual teachings invite us to take. Throughout this video, we explored how your karmic number can offer a deep map of the lessons you came to learn in this life, your strengths and the challenges that may arise on your path. Each number from 1 to 9 carries a unique and powerful meaning, and understanding this number is like having a spiritual compass pointing in the right direction. The self-knowledge you gain by discovering your karmic number is transformative because it allows you to better understand your choices, your experiences, and how you interact with the world around you. When you know your karmic number, you can start identifying patterns in your life that previously seemed confusing or even unfair. You realize that the challenges you face are not punishments, but opportunities for growth. More importantly, you learn that you have the power to transform any negative energy, balance your karma, and create a more harmonious future aligned with your purpose. This is the true gift of karmic understanding, the possibility of living with more clarity, compassion, and intention. We'd love to know what your karmic number is. Share in the comments the number you discovered and see how many others are on the same karmic journey as you. By coming together, we can build a community of support, learning, and growth where everyone has a space to share their experiences, challenges, and victories on the path to self-knowledge. Whether you're overcoming obstacles, learning valuable life lessons, or finding your purpose, your story could inspire someone else walking a similar path. Who knows? You might just connect with someone facing the same karmic patterns or discover an inspiring story that resonates deeply with your own journey. Let's grow and learn together. If you enjoyed this content and want to continue exploring topics that support your spiritual growth and help you gain a deeper understanding of your life's purpose, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to give this video a like. Turn on the notification bell so you're always the first to know when new transformative content drops and share this video with someone who could benefit from these insights. If you're ready to take the next step in your journey of self-discovery and transformation, stay tuned for our upcoming video. We'll dive even deeper into the spiritual evolution paths that can help guide you toward a more fulfilling, awakened life. You won't want to miss it.